Hi, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we'll be reviewing one of Lenovo's new line of converged HX series Nutanix appliances, the HX5510. The HX series appliances are powered by Nutanix software which easily combines servers, storage, and virtualization functions into a highly available virtual structure, reducing space requirements, power usage, and complexity. Your accountants will also appreciate a faster time to value over traditional network environments. By pooling servers, storage, and virtualization, Nutanix software greatly increases agility and removes dependence on specialized administration skills to manage the systems. Resiliency is enhanced with automatic recovery features, which isolates component failures to keep the system up and running. Backup of data is available by connecting to another Nutanix-based cluster or by way of the public cloud. Full disaster recovery is accomplished either on a metro basis synchronously or globally asynchronously. Several common use cases include server virtualization, virtual desktop infrastructure, private hybrid clouds, enterprise applications, and remote branch office support. There are five basic HX models to choose from. The 1000 series for remote branch office deployments, the 2000 series designed specifically for SMBs with smaller deployments, the 3000 series for compute heavy tasks, the 7000 series optimized for high performance computing, and the 5000 series which includes the HX5510 we are reviewing today. The HX5510 is optimized for storage intensive applications supporting up to eight hot swap LFF drives for a low dollar to gigabyte ratio. The system is ideal for Hadoop big data, file servers, on cluster backups, Splunk, and centralized disaster recovery. The true power of the HX series hyperconverged system is in the scale out potential and high availability design. Three HX system nodes form a cluster and provide compute failover and a fully clustered file system. Scaling is done by adding additional nodes into the cluster with no downtime utilizing Nutanix one-click expansion. When adding to a cluster, administrators can choose from any of Lenovo's HX models to customize the amount of compute and storage, but the core cluster of three units must be from the same model. Base cluster nodes are identical to enable N plus one redundancy. If one node in a base cluster has more storage, if it fails, the remaining nodes may not have the capacity to tolerate the failure. To get around that, Lenovo recommends adding at least two large capacity nodes instead of just one. Either way you go, the modular 2U building blocks can easily be provisioned in a matter of minutes instead of days or weeks when compared to traditional network environments. Given that compute and storage resources are added with each node, the HX cluster scales linearly and the Google-like distributed file system offers unlimited scale potential. We received three HX5510 nodes from Lenovo to create a complete cluster. Each node came with six hot swap 3.5 inch 4 terabyte HDDs and two 2.5 inch 400 gigabyte SSD drives mounted in front to support tiered storage. The faster front mounted SSDs provide quick access to recently accessed files, the performance tier, while the 3.5 inch HDD drives offer cost effective storage for seldom used files, the capacity tier. A single 2.5 inch 120 gigabyte SSD is mounted in back for the boot device. Inside the case, Intel C610 chipset supports two Xeon E5 2630 V4 2.4 GHz 10 core processors and eight 16 GB true memory DDR4 RDIM modules per processor for 256 GB of total memory with 16 modules. There's a 10 gigabit Ethernet card in back which is standard and two redundant 900 watt power supplies. Administrators can choose processors, memory, and HDs to support their workload and business needs. Lenovo's true memory modules are recommended and offer improved performance, reliability, and security compared to standard memory modules. Lenovo's X-Clarity Administrator provides a detailed inventory of system hardware information and status along with real-time hardware monitoring, fault detection, and alerts. Lenovo's Integrated Management Module offers remote access to the system. Basic light path diagnostics include system LEDs on the front, rear, and system board to provide a quick visual overview of the system status. Nutanix features two key components for managing your network environment. Acropolis, a full-featured distributed operating system, which also includes the Acropolis hypervisor, and Prism, which provides administrators with a simple browser-based user interface for additional tools for managing the virtual environment. Preloaded at the factory, Nutanix software natively aggregates compute, storage, and virtualization, eliminating the need for SAN or NAS solutions. Administrators can also install VMware's ESXi hypervisor as an option. Compatibility with Microsoft Hyper-V hypervisor is expected towards the end of 2016. We did a trial run to see how fast two of our guys could unbox, rack mount, and power up the cluster, which took about 45 minutes. We were able to install the systems without a problem, but enlisted the help of a Nutanix field engineer to configure the systems for our network. For the purposes of our video, we went with the factory-installed Nutanix Acropolis for our hypervisor OS. If you're not a Nutanix certified administrator, Lenovo recommends customers take advantage of their professional services. Purchasing an optional professional services unit provides customers with a field technician for a full day to install, set up, and configure the system for your network. After we finished installing the system, James, our Nutanix field tech, 
configured the system for our network, and also provided an in-depth tutorial on using the Nutanix PRISM interface to manage and allocate resources. The Nutanix Bible is also recommended reading for the on-site administrator and provides a comprehensive reference for managing and allocating resources using Nutanix. Once the cluster was configured for our network, logging onto the controller VM from a standard browser gave us access to PRISM. With PRISM, administrators are presented with a simple and intuitive layout granting system-wide access from a single interface, allowing administrators to easily and rapidly deploy and scale systems from the shared compute and storage pools. Nutanix is available in four different license tiers, Starter, Pro, Ultimate, and a Nutanix Express Edition for the 2000 series appliances specifically designed for smaller deployments. The Starter Edition comes preloaded from Lenovo and offers the core set of Nutanix software functionality. Upgrading from the Starter version will enable different feature sets including tools with advanced analytics and environment resource tracking to more easily manage multiple applications or multi-site deployments. Downloading an upgraded license is easily accomplished with the appropriate licensing fees and a product serial number. No additional software needs to be downloaded. With Lenovo's HX Series Nutanix appliances, administrators can expect reduced IT administration, lower cost of ownership, easy deployment, simplified management, and an accelerated ROI compared to traditional server and storage array environments. Lenovo's single pane of glass management approach combined with a scalable modular pay-as-you-grow hardware component makes it easy for administrators and reduces the need for specialized skills. The multitude of HX chassis configurations also give administrators options for both performance and cost. We hope you enjoyed our review of Lenovo's converged HX5510 Nutanix appliance. Like, comment, and subscribe in the space below. I'm Doug Stewin, and thanks for watching.